Then we're going to start off by opening uh, my new folder, my project, which is just an empty folder inside Visual Studio Code. And then I'm going to pull up the terminal and do pull up the terminal by building inside terminal and saying new terminal or use the new shortcut. And then I'm going to do npm init dash y to initialize this npm project. We're going to have the package inside JSON. And we're going to use a package called uh, hardhat. So I'm going to do uh, npm install hardhat. And this hardhat is going to help us uh, develop and deploy our NFTs. Now that we have installed the hardhat package and we can see that we have successfully installed it by going to package the JSON, we can do npx hardhat to create the hardhat project. And I want to create, I'm going to select a basic sample project. This is going to be the root source, so just press enter. Yes, I do want to get ignore, and yes, I do want to install the, all the dependencies. So instead of the process, I'm going to create the contract by using OpenSampling. So first I'm going to go in this contract folder where I'm going to create and delete this sample project. Then I'm going to go inside OpenSampling, uh, products contracts, because I want to use some of the, their contracts, and then I go to docs. And then we have the ERC sampling one here, which I'm going to use. I'm going to click, and this is our uh, sample blueprint contracts. I'm going to copy this and go inside my contract and just say ERC71 NFT. And just click dot so. And I'm going to paste all this here. Actually, let's uh, give this name some, some of the more descriptive name, such as Pokemons. A little bit just Pokemon. Let's say this is Pokemon NFT. And here we're getting everything for port. We have a library that we have installed, which is Open7. I'm going to install this library, which is Open7 uh, slash contracts. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change this version to 0.8.2 because I want it to be, and I'm going to install this contract of FIFA and change this to exactly the same, so they're all consistent. Then we're going to change the contract name, and you can see they're right away. Change the contract name to Pokemon. And you have a counter for our token IDs, then we have a constructor. This is the name and symbol of our NFT. There's a hard code here. We're going to hard code them uh, later in the deployment script, so I'm going to just provide a uh, placeholder here by doing string memory name. This is going to be the name, and then we're going to have string memory and symbol. Symbol. And then instead of writing a placeholder, I'm going to also pass the name and symbol here. Instead of calling this our time, we're going to because it's in the function. We're going to delete the first argument, which is clear, and this argument that we're going to meet the entity too. But this is going to be the message of the sender, so we'll just put the message of the sender, the message of the sender, and we're done for smart contract. And now to create our the metadata for this NFT collection. Uh, actually, this is not going to be Pokemons, but we're going to do Mickey Mouse NFT. So we're going to create a new folder in which we're going to store the metadata. So let's call this metadata. And I'm going to put this Mickey Mouse image here into this folder. And I'm also going to create a JSON file called this Mickey Mouse.json. And here, this is basically the data that we'll provide for our NFT. So I'm just going to paste this here. And uh, this is the format in which you should create your NFT. First you have the name, which will be Mickey Mouse. I don't know why it's something else. Then you have the description. Then you have the image or the link to this image, Mickey Mouse image, that we're going to host on IPFS later. We still haven't created the link. And then you have some attributes put inside of these attributes. Key array. We have string that has the value of 7 and it can max, it maximum can be 10 and you have other traits. Uh, next thing we're going to upload this metadata to IPFS and IPFS is just a decentralized way to store data uh, on the blockchain. So I'm, I'm, and we're, for this we're going to use a service called Pinata. So make an account here and then if you go to the manager, you can upload anything you like. So I'm going to say upload file because I'm going to select the file and I'm going to upload the image that we have. I'm going to go inside my project into metadata and I'm going to pick my Mickey Mouse image and I'm going to click on upload. After that's uploaded we can uh, copy something called content ID that uniquely identifies this uploaded image here and we should go in this Mickey Mouse JSON file which is again the metadata for our NFT collection and instead of uh, this placeholder, I'm going to put this content ID here. And now, since we've uh, provided the link to the image, to the hosted image in this JSON file, we can also upload the, the actual JSON file by going into Upload File, Selecting File, and then just selecting our JSON file. And this, what you're minting, minting actually is this JSON file. Uh, and now to deploy uh, this contract, we're going to use the script provi uh, we have provided here. And actually I'm going to rename this script, JavaScript script into the just deploy. And if I open this up, you can see there is a function that's called main. 
and it's getting cold here and I'm going to delete uh, everything above the main function and I'm going to uh, let's first uh, say eaters equal require then we're going to just require eaters from this hard hat library and then we're going to define the main function that is going to deploy our NFT and this is going to be a, an async function so let's say async and then we're going to want to get the compiled contract here so I'm just saying compiled contract and then this is going to be called uh, Mickey Mouse actually let's do a capital M we're going to say equal uh, and then we're going to use the eaters library that we we got and say get contract factory and then we're going to provide the name to our NFT uh, collection which is inside of a string which is Pokemons oops and uh, say await here because we're going to await this for uh, to be compiled uh, and get define another variable which we'll call Mickey Mouse with uh, lowercase m and this is going to be our deployed contract and we're going to wait this to happen and use the wait keyword then uh, use this compiled contract to deploy to of course deploy the contract say deploy and here when we deploy the smart contract we need to provide the name and the symbol as we have defined here and let's call this Mickey Mouse and let's have a symbol that says just MM and now uh, to know when the, this contract is getting deployed we can use the deployed function by saying await and then Mickey Mouse getting the the contract and just saying deploy it and after this line execute it means our our contract was deployed so I'm going to print a uh, contract was deployed to and I'm going to use print out the contract address here so we can later uh, verify that on the blockchain explorer and since our contract was deployed now I can mint this contract by saying uh, wait and then mm, the actual deployed contract and then just calling the mint function and then this mint function as you can see it expects a token URI which is basically uh, this string if I go to which is basically this string if I go to this JSON file and then we're going to paste this string here but instead of this content identifier I'm, I'm going to copy the content identifier of this uh, Mickey Mouse JSON file so we have implemented uh, the deploy script now we need to configure the hardhead config file and here we need to specify to which network we're going to deploy or to which blockchain we're going to deploy our NFT and we're going to use the Mumbai uh, Polygon testnet uh, let's specify the Mumbai testnet by saying networks this is going to be an object and we're going to say Mumbai which is going to be another object and here we're going to have the URL of this Mumbai testnet which we're going to store inside this uh, .env file which uh, you can access by going into process uh, you have probably used this before 
env and we're going to say mumbai rpc this is going to be the name of our variable and we're going to has also add an account here an account that's going to deploy our smart contract and we're going to say here again process dot env dot private key because we're going to provide the private key of our account and that's why we want to store uh, this data inside env because it's sensitive data and uh, the account that's going to deploy our smart contract needs to have some matic because it's going to make a transaction so we're going to copy the public public address go inside this faucet and request some uh, matic tokens and you can deploy the smart contract by saying npx hardhat run scripts and the name of your scripts which is deploy and we're going to deploy it to the mumbai testnet uh, so it was very simple uh, to deploy you just run uh, this command here and then I had an error where just a typo in this require uh, text and then it says the contract was deployed to this address so to verify this we need to visit the Mumbai polygon scan uh, here just paste the contract address and if the contract was deployed it should give us something like this where it says it was deployed 39 seconds ago and uh, 8 seconds after the deployment uh, it, we have minted uh, one NFT